In the picturesque town of Veve, Switzerland, stands the global headquarters of Nestle, the world's largest food and beverage company, known for its commitment to nutrition, health, and wellness. Nestle faces significant scrutiny. Nestle's baby food products feed millions of infants worldwide. But how uniform is the nutritional content of these products across different countries? In Lausanne, Switzerland, a team at the nonprofit organization Public Eye has raised alarming questions. We decided to um, check uh, two uh, Nestle baby food brands uh, sold in lower income countries. And uh, what we found was quite shocking uh, in the sense that we found uh, very high levels of uh, sugar added by Nestle in the product. Now, what is really um, uh, shocking with this is that in Switzerland, all uh, the similar products sold by Nestle, they're sold without any added sugar. Uh, this is um, Nestle's baby cereal sold in Switzerland. Now, if you read here, it says uh, without added sugar, sans sucre ajouté. Uh, now, the, um, the product that is being sold uh, in low and middle income countries is this one. Cerelac, and it has on average one sugar cube in a serving. Their investigation focused on two popular products, Cerelac and Nido, comparing them to their Swiss counterparts. The highest amount we found was uh, 7.3 grams in a serving in a product sold in the Philippines, so that's nearly two sugar cube in a serving. Um, and for Nido, uh, the amount that we found was a bit lower, on average uh, two grams uh, in a serving, but still in Central America, we found a product with very high levels of uh, sugar. We're talking about 5.3 grams in a serving. While Nestle asserts that it complies with national regulations and international standards, experts argue these practices reveal a troubling double standard. It has a lot of health implications, negative health implications on the children. It distorts the gut microorganism balance. These microorganisms help to maintain the protective layer in the gut to prevent unwanted influences in the body. So the gut serves like a barrier, a protective barrier, and these added sugars break that barrier down. The majority of the people in the world that are obese uh, live in low and middle income countries and what you're seeing is an increase in the uh, chronic diseases linked to obesity like uh, diabetes but also cardiovascular diseases, hypertension, cancers and so on. This was a strange, strange response we got from Nestle. They are saying that uh, you have a small variation in the recipes of product might happen, no? depending on the availability of local ingredients, but also local preferences. It's a clear double standard, sugar here, no sugar there. This variation is not uh, the result of uh, uh, local availability of uh, ingredients. I mean, uh, sugar is available. If they want to add it, they just add it. In countries facing rising obesity and diabetes rates among young children, the high sugar content is a growing concern. I had to withdraw uh, from using all the uh, formulated food from Nestle because um, I discovered of late when I go to the hospital, the rate at which I see children with uh, diabetes, obesity, with other related um, illness from sugar, I was surprised myself. So I had to withdraw every use of Nestle product for now. As the debate continues, the health of millions of babies hangs in the balance. There should not be any disparity when it comes to food formulation because we are all human. Public Eye has launched a petition demanding that Nestle remove added sugars globally, pressing for a revision of codex standards.